definitely one of the greatest consoles of all time, the PS2. You know yeah. what is one of the... You, you want to talk about a subject real quick? I have to look up... Um, I didn't even know this. I actually didn't know this, and I'm the Sega guy. Um, did you... Did you know that the Dreamcast had one of the best fucking launch lineups of games I have ever seen? It might be the best one of all time. I'd have to hang on. I wouldn't be surprised because, t honestly speaking, most modern I, modern day systems have really shitty fucking lineups. Okay, um, let's go ahead. We could go all the way back to the, this. Could be a huge ass topic. I'm gonna save the Dreamcast for last. Um, there is, cause I found, I was watching, um, a video and I guess I just never, like, I know the launch lineup of some consoles, like N64 had Mario 64 and Pilot Wings. That was it. But that's all you needed. Um, the 3DS's was fucking horrible cause I lived it. Um, so, uh, I'll probably just skip maybe the Atari era here. Let's go to the... Let's start with the NES. Let's let's go NES, and I'll skip some of the weirder consoles. Like, we'll do the ones that really mattered. Like, we'll skip. So let's see. We got uh, Famicom, Nintendo Entertainment System. There's actually a lot. Ten Yard Fight, Baseball, Clue Clue Land, Duck Hunt, Excite Bike, Golf, uh, Gyromite, Hogan's Alley, Ice Climber, Kung Fu, Pinball, Soccer, Stack Up, Super Mario Bros. Tennis, Wild Gunman, Wrecking Crew. That is a pretty good list, actually. I will say that's a pretty... That that might take the cake. We'll just do an English list, too. It's it's different, you know, for all of them. We'll do English. Um, pretty solid list. Um, and I'll pop this up so you guys can see it. Um, even though a lot of those games wouldn't go on to be considered, like, NES, like, the actual best, best games on there, uh, a lot of them are really good showcase oh of what the console can do, especially. At yeah. The I'm looking at the PlayStation line launch lineup. It's, it's weird. PlayStation <laughs> one, PlayStation one, man. Um, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be listing off the games for the U S though. Cause the U S and Japanese are two different lists. Okay. Um, you got air combat you got battle arena toshinden you got espn extreme games you got kalik the dna imperative you have nba jam tournament edition you have power serve 3d tennis you have the raiden project you got rayman you got ridge racer you got street fighter the movie you got total eclipse turbo and zero divide uh yeah, not the strongest lineup. Uh, it has <laughs> variety, which is good. Um, That's why it says fucking weird. But like they chose they chose Street Fighter the wait, movie Battle as Arena one of the launch Toshinden. titles. I remember that. It's, Weapons based uh, fighting game. Why do I remember this? It's showing me nothing uh, about it besides information. Oh. Pictures. I know why I know Battle Arena Toshinden because I if I recall correctly that's one of the better Game Boy fighting games actually. Like it's a really unique fighting game on the Game Boy. Whereas the PlayStation 1 version it's like well for a PS1 game it's kind of like eh you know it's okay, but like on the Game Boy it's actually one of the best fighting games on Game Boy because there's not a lot of good fighting games cuz like you know, with the Game Boy, the button layout. I mean, there's only so much you can do with the two buttons and the... But that is yeah. one that actually, if I recall, people actually love that as a handheld. <laughs> um, I was that like, what is, is that? It, it's... it's on, P on PlayStation, it's a really weird... It's it's just... How do I explain it? It's just a really weird looking... It fire. doesn't... It does not showcase what that console would become at fucking all. There's, no, it doesn't. Uh, there's good and games it, like NBA Tournament Edition is is a really good NBA Jam. I have that actually. I still have the I have the box. Rayman One, like it's a good game, but it's still it's a not... good game, but it it's two dimensional. It's another sprite based game. Sure. Um, well, let me go back up a little bit. So we did the NES, we did the PlayStation One. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to make it a little quick. A uh, the Sega Genesis, Altered Beast, Last Battle, Space Harrier Two, Super Thunder Blade, Thunder Force Two, and Tommy Lasorda Baseball. Um, it's an okay lineup. My biggest problem is you have three shooters: Space Harrier, Super Thunder Blade, and Thunder Force Two, which are all fantastic games. But it's just like shit. That was your launch line. Yeah, that that's that's one of the issues that I have with uh, 
some launch lineups is there's there's usually sometimes a overabundance of a specific genre of games like i i feel that way with like some with some of them in, in like fighting games there's a lot of fighting games uh for some of these game, uh, game yeah launches. i'm gonna skip the 32x and the sega cd which actually had some it's they're okay lineups uh, th uh cd had gamecube has a pretty good lineup okay hit me with the gamecube one it's got all-star baseball 2002 uh, Batman Vengeance, Crazy Taxi, Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2, Disney's Tarzan Untamed, come on, Luigi's Mansion, Manifel Madden NFL 2002, NHL Hits 2002, Star Wars Rogue Squ Squadron 2, L Rogue Leader, Super Monkey Ball, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, and Wave Race Blue Storm. Not, not bad. A lot of sports games. That's kind of how it is with Batman... a lot of things. I didn't know Batman Vengeance was... <laughs> Sports games are always some of the first to come out for every fucking console. Yeah, because they are... God, I love the GameCube. That came out just a few days before my birthday in 2001. Wow. Um, what I wanna... So far, what would you say out of everything... Uh, is the I... best launch lineup? I was not paying attention... Uh, when you said the Sega Genesis lineup, uh, it was just it was a lot of. Sh I can tell you it's not the best one so far, but <laughs> uh, it was it was like three shooter. It was Altered Beast, Last Battle, Space Harrier Two, Super Thunder Blade, Thunder Force Two, and Tommy Lasorda Baseball. It's good games, but none of it's not. Yeah, uh, SNES, F Zero, Gradius Three. Pilot Wings, Sim City, Super Mario World. Short wow. list, but that's pretty strong, actually. That is pretty fucking strong. Yeah, that's a strong uh, list. I was looking at the, uh, I was just looking at the Wii right here. It's got, a, it's got quite a bit. Um, it's got, uh, it's got Rampage. It's got SpongeBob. It's got Monkey Ball. It's got uh, Budokai Tenkaichi Two. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, it has Twilight me. Princess. Well, okay, and that's like, yeah, okay. That's one of that was the launch for the Wii, the Wii, even though it's it was already out. Uh, they have the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Duck Hunt is good, Gabe. Uh, they have Cars and they have Happy Feet. Need for Speed Carbon. Uh, it's, uh... it's not a bad launch line the wii one of the best things about it was like the first one or two years of the console and then it was like eh. um wii sports we sports wins it right there honestly neo geo i won't go over because it's it's okay it doesn't showcase their better game king of the monsters is actually one of them fuck the Philips cdi we don't care uh 3do fuck that thing which had one game crash and burn uh the yeah. pladia which is uh, only J Japan that was Bandai's console had a Dragon Ball Z game on launch as well weird um, Sega Saturn Clockwork Knight Ugh. Daytona USA fantastic game Pebble Beach Golf oh, Links Panzer Clockwork Dragoon Knight. we see that all the time when we go to yeah because it was a we? launch game for the Saturn so everybody fucking had it Ugh, was that even a good game no not that I recall <laughs> at least uh Virtua Fighter and Worldwide Soccer, Sega International Victory Goal Edition. Okay. Saturn's launch. It's okay. You got Daytona and Panzer Dragoon are fantastic. Um, wow. Well, let me just say, out of the five Virtual ratings Fighter, I guess. Uh, for Clockwork Night on the Sega Saturn, it has an average rating of 4.6. Yeah, no, it's not. This is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Who says that? Thank you, Darius. <laughs> and do a fucking user reviews for Clockwork Night. Um, we already did the PlayStation One. In sixty four, Pilot Wing sixty four, Super Mario sixty four. Short, but all you really needed was Super Mario sixty four. Honest to God, solid launch, despite only being two games. Um, fuck all that shit. I will get to you. Six. I will get to you, Dreamcast. Oh my god, what a list. 
Uh, what is that one game called? Uh, who played it? Was PS2. It Did we do PS2? Uh, no. I, I have it pulled up, but it's just a... It's a Woo! Bunch. It's a list. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, a, it's a list. That's why I, I didn't bring it up. Armored Got Core 2. Dead or Alive... Two Hardcore, Dynasty Warriors 2, ESPN, International Track and Field, ESPN, Winter X Game Snowboarding, Eternal Ring, Evergrace, Fanavision, Gun Griffin Blaze, Madden 2001, Midnight Club, good one, NFL 2001, NHL. Orpheon, Q-Ball, oh, sorry, NHL 2001, Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2, I like the first one, I never played the second, Ridge Racer 5, Silent Scope, Smuggler's Run, Street Fighter EX3, Summoner, Swing Away Golf, Tekken Tag Tournament 1, Time Splitters, Unreal Tournament, Wild Wild Racing, and X-Squad. It's a pretty solid list, too, but yeah, I, I don't know if it would, again, showcase everything that the PS2 would eventually have, but that's not, that's actually not bad. That could take the cake, too, because there's a lot. There's just a lot. There's a lot of fucking games there. <laughs> like it's you got you got your sports games, you have Dynasty Warriors, so you have that style of game. You have Armored Core, so you got mechs. Yep. You got DOA too, so there's your fighting Street games Fighter. along with Tekken. You have Time Splitters, so there's your like sci-fi shooter. Um You got Ridge Racer, racing. right? Racing games. You got, a uh, you got games. boxing games. Two arena um, shooters, because the time splitters and Unreal, actually. Yes. Um you have golf. You got golf. <laughs> That's a uh, the good. The only thing I, I don't I don't know these names, but they might be they might be this type of game. Uh, I, uh, are any of these games an RPG like Evergrace or? Uh, I actually am not. Or yeah, Orphans, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Which is the only thing that I was like, oh, it's surprisingly for a PS2 does not have any of the big X Squad fucking sucks. Um. We did it the GameCube. The original Xbox actually has a wow. lot. Wow. I just realized that the Nintendo GameCube only had three games for the Japanese launch. Yeah. Which, you know, the American one has so much more because it came out later. By two months? Is that all it is? I mean, but you know, well, September, uh, October. No yeah, so about two months, but... But a lot of those games might have just been, you know, more ready. And some of them might not have come out. Like, I, I don't know. If gonna, I was going to also say that a lot of those are also probably not going to sell very well in the Japanese market. Yeah, like, Disney's exactly. Tarzan, Madden, yeah. the yeah. sports games. Tar Disney's stuff might. But, yeah, I don't know. I, Yeah, true. Uh, what What is this launch? What am I looking at? Oh, the original Xbox. Yes. Um. 4v4 Evo 2, Air Force Delta Storm, Arctic Thunder, Cell Damage, Dark Summit, Dead or Alive 3, Double Steel, Japan Launch. That's weird how some of it says that. Uh, Fusion Radio. Frenzy, Halo, hey. <laughs> uh, Jet Set Radio Future, but Japan Launch. Mad Dash Racing, Madden NFL 2002, NASCAR Heat 2002, NASCAR Thunder 2002. Wait, was there a... Oh, never mind. It says... I was I was looking at Project Gotham Racing. I was like, is there a Batman kart racing game? No, Project Gotham Racing. Well, there was two of them, I think. Uh, Shrek. <laughs> Lol. Uh, <laughs> yes. Tony Hawk's Pro Sader 2X. Um, it's a it's a big list, but honestly, that's not a... I, think it, I don't think it's that great of a list. The best thing on there has to be Halo. And, Halo. And... Uh, Dead or Alive 3 is good, but... And then uh, Jet Set Radio Future. Yeah, Those are... I was going to say... And then you Halo have, and... like, a sports game. I always, I'll give one sports game a pass, but holy shit. <laughs> there's, like, there's, like, there, six you know, of them. Yeah, they're on Plus every Tony single Hawk. fucking launch. It's crazy. Um... Xbox 360, Amped 3, Call of Duty 2, Condemned. There's an underrated gem. That I have that game. FIFA 06, Gun, uh, Cameo, Madden, NBA, NBA, Need for Speed, NHL. Perfect Dark Zero could have isn't been that something. What a, isn't, that, isn't Perfect Dark Zero like a... 
not a great game. Mm, eh. You know what? I actually really like the multiplayer. Um, I hate the fucking story because I love Perfect Dark 1. Perfect Dark 1 is one of... If we're not talking about Nintendo 64 games that I actually Ooh. really do love, I fucking love Perfect Dark 1. Uh, not Zero. The story for Zero American sucks. Baseline. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 3, Quake 4, there's a big one. Ridge Racer 6, Tiger Woods, Tony Hawk. Um, I don't know. Again, it's like, it's okay. It's, uh, actually, that's kind of a, it's not a great list. It's a big one. But that actually, that list kind of sucks. You have a couple of hidden gems, and that's really. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I seriously want to read that Dreamcast one, but I'm saving the best for last because I really do think. Xbox Live Arcade, that's kind of a neat list. But uh, PlayStation 3, Call of Duty 3, Genji, Days of the Blade, that game sucks, Madden 07, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Mobile Suit Gundam, Crossfire, Need for Speed, NBA, NBA, NHL, Resistance, that's like, that's Fall That's going to be Man. the thing with every single console. It's going to be two NBAs and an NHL. Yep. Because uh, at the time, Madden had Holy already taken shit. over, but NBA still had 2K. Dude, the European and Australian launch for the... What was this? The PS3 had so many fucking games on it. Mm -hmm. Sonic the hit. Oh, Sonic 06. <laughs> they launched oh, with that. <laughs> it was it was it like it was on 2007, so like an entire four months after everyone else got it. Makes a bit more sense. Uh, Hunter wants to see my search history for some reason. I, my I I don't use my computer for anything nefarious, so my search history would literally what you guys have seen here on stream. That's what my phone is for, yeah. That's what Diane is. Um, uh, uh, bu bu the Wii, Avatar, Call of Duty 3, Cars, Budokai. Oh, you already did the Wii. I remember mm -hmm. this. Um, I'm just looking it over again. I just say nothing, in my opinion, comes close to the Dreamcast except for the PS2, I could maybe argue, Whoa, and dude, the NES. The virtual console. And the the Wii Virtual Console has got Altered Beast, Donkey Kong, F-Zero, Mario Bros, Pinball, SimCity, Soccer, Solomon's Key, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda, and Wario's Woods. That's, That's pretty, the greatest launch of all time if it didn't have the crutch of being a greatest hit of the last 20 years. No, <laughs> it's the launch. It's the launch of the digital version. It's not versions, a console, okay? though. It's not a console. It's, it's a fucking greatest hits collection. Collection. Fuck you. <laughs> I have Trauma Center, Hunter. I have. I oh have my two of god, them. the Japanese virtual console launch is insanely yeah. long. Oh my god. Super Castlevania 4. Yeah, that is insane. Did they get theirs after us? They uh they what the did. fuck? They like, got they got Toe Jam and Earl? That is really fucking interesting. A link to the past. Uh, eighth generation Wii U. Assassin's Creed Three. Oh my Batman God, Arkham U City. Had... Well, 10. the Wii U is a bit more understandable with its being so large and in charge because it's it's yeah. probably a bunch of stuff that's already been out, right? Uh, Besides, gosh. like the ones that are made specifically for it. I'm. Oh, uh, that's true. Yes. Um. Black Ops 2, Chasing Aurora, Darksiders 2, Epic Vicky 2, ESPN, FIFA, Funky Barn, Game Party Champions, Just Dance 4, Little Inferno. What is Funky Barn? I don't know, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'll look that up. Really I'll, fucking I'll, weird. I'll open it in a new tab. We'll look at it in a minute. Uh, Just Dance 4, Little Inferno, Madden, Mass Effect 3 Special Edition, Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, Nano Assault Neo, Su New Super Mario Bros. U, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, so the good one, thank God. Nintendo Land, Rabbids Land, Scribble Knots Unlimited, Sing Party, Skylander, Sonic and Race, Sonic, uh, All Stars Racing Transform, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. I forgot that exists. Um, Transformers Prime, the game, Trine 2, Warriors Orochi 3 Hyper, Wipeout, Your Shape, Fitness Evolved, and Zombie U. Uh, you know, my only gripe, so on paper, excuse me, um, on paper, this looks like a pretty good list. But I'm uh -huh. gonna I'm gonna say one thing that makes it a little bit lesser so, in my opinion. Uh -huh. A lot of the really good games. This it's kind of is the virtual console thing. A lot of the really good games. Your Arkham City, Assassin's Creed Three, 
Um, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, Sonic Racing Transformed. Those were already on the 360 and PS3. Um, but because the Wii U came out in such a weird time before the PS4 and PS5, or PS4 and uh, Xbox One, um, it makes it seem like, oh, these are like new. It's like, well, these weren't actually like new exclusive games for the console or anything like that. Like the list is a little inflated because of it. That being said, um, even though it's not a main line, I don't give a fuck. It's a Mario game. New Super Mario Bros. U is a good launch title. Nintendo Land is fucking... People still want that on the Switch. I love Nintendo Land. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll keep Sorry, going. We're I almost done. Changed my Discord profile picture. Uh, I don't even have to look at the fucking list to know that the PlayStation 4 launch fucking sucked because I remember waiting yeah. for fucking games. It wasn't until Bloodborne came out that it was really like, all right. So we're not even going to bother. Uh, <laughs> uh, I missed the I missed the handhelds here too, but, you know, so what? Uh, sorry, I guess we won't count them, but I know the 3DS launch was also fucking terrible. Uh, terrible. Xbox One, uh, Angry Birds, Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield, no, okay, who cares? Uh, Dead Rising 3, at the time, Dead Rising was still, you know, Killer Instinct, uh, it was a comeback. Big, uh, oh, that's kind of it, honestly. The rest of it is just flops or ports or, eh. Uh, yeah. That's series a, X and Series one. S. Well, <laughs> again, if you look at the list, it looks good. The modern era is just so different. Once you get to, like, that Wii U, it's like, uh, okay. Uh, like, Borderlands 3. Okay. Uh, but Borderlands 3 was already out. Dead by Daylight was already out. Devil May Cry 5 was already out. Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, those were all out. All of these are not exclusive to that console. So I think we're kind of done here. Um, mm -hmm. And then they had the handhelds here. I just, there is two that I want to look at real quick. Um, I guess the Game Boy Color had Tetris DX. Uh, um, I was curious about the PSP. Ah, fuck it. It doesn't matter. We're, we'll just, we won't do handheld consoles. I want to take a look at this Dreamcast. Look at this fucking Dreamcast shit. Maybe it's not Tell as good me. as I remember, but I remember seeing it and just being like, oh my god. <laughs> Sega Dreamcast. The Sega Dreamcast in the US. Japan got Godzilla. What the fuck? Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty good fucking lineup. Arrow Wings, Air Force Delta, Blue Stinger. So nothing too crazy yet. Expendable. House of the Dead 2. Hydro fucking Thunder, Monaco Grand Prix, Mortal Kombat Gold, NFL 2K, and Blitz, which I actually Blitz do like. that 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 right there, I will I will say yes to that one. Blitz As, 2000. In terms of the sports games, yes. Pin Pin Tricelon, Power Stone, <laughs> Ready to Rumble Boxing, Sonic Adventure, Soul Calibur, and by the way, I'm pretty sure this is the first release of Soul Calibur one, so we're talking like exclusive at the time. Uh, TNN Motorsports Hardcore Heat and eh. Tokyo Extreme Racer had it, but it's not eh. uh, in trick style. Like, I don't know, Sonic Adventure, Soul Calibur, fucking Power Stone, Hydro Thunder, House of the Dead Two is what fucking killed me because I was like, yeah. oh my yeah. god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a that's a good lineup right there. Is it? Is it necessarily like I mean I could argue the NES might be the perfect variety to showcase the console I think that's the strongest thing with that the PlayStation 2 was just like there's so many fucking exclusive games launched on day one that it's hard not to to be excited about that lineup, but I still... It has something for I everyone. Just, I just don't think it had, like, that many... Like, okay, here's the thing about the Dreamcast lineup that blows my fucking mind. When you think of, like, what are the best games on that console, it's like, well, literally with the Dreamcast, like, half of them came out on the first day. Like, it's so good. That, that is quite insane. I can't remember. Um, I could be wrong, but I had thought that... Um, what's that fucking game called? Um, with Vice in it. Skies of Arcadia. Right. I thought that was a launch title, but I guess not. 
I don't know. I thought it was a launch title. Let's see. It came Skies out. Of Arcadia. It came out November thirteenth, two thousand. So it came out. No, it was a couple months after. Okay. Wait, what? Or no, wait, two thousand. So that was, was gonna, the next year. That was the next I, year. I was gonna say which which uh um region are you looking at? Because my when I, the way that I'm looking at it right here, it says that the initial release date of Skies of Arcadia is October fifth, two thousand. Uh that's Japan. Okay. North America was November thirteenth. Yeah. Gotcha. So I was looking at the wrong one. 